Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a drone review. We're going to take a look at the Wine F7 GB2 drone. I'm super excited. Don't forget to check out the discount code in the description and you can also find a link to Ruko's website in the description below. If you like this kind of content, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Now with its three axis gimbal, I'm expecting this to have some perfect stability and with a 4K camera, I mean, the shots are gonna be unbelievable. So let's get it unboxed and have a look. Now it's got a 4K Wi-Fi camera as well as the three axis stabilized gimbal. It's got a brushless motor. It has excellent night scene shooting function, which we will test out. It's got a modular design gimbal tripod and a super long remote control range. So I'm really excited about this thing. Okay, it's really cool. It comes in this neat little bag and it feels like it's in its own carrying case too. So let's get into this bag and check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna show you first what's in the box, okay? So here we have what's in the box. So you're gonna find that you have your drone, you've got your controller, You've also got extra propellers and you get two batteries. Now, in addition, inside the extra propeller box, you'll find two charger cables. You don't get the charger head that plugs into the wall, but you do get the two cables that are meant to be used for these batteries. Now, one nice feature here also is that the controller itself has its own built-in battery. Now, I am gonna put this drone through some tests. I'm gonna inspect it. I'm going to report back to you exactly what I think and what I find. Now, the key features that we're gonna look at here and give some kind of value to would be durability, ease of use, quality, quality not only in the build and the flight, but also in the video and camera features. And we'll also be looking at the um, intelligent features that the drone has. Finally, we'll talk about the battery and what you get with the package and how long the battery lasts, how long it takes to charge, etc. So let's jump right into this.
in terms of ease of use. This is a very easy drone to use. It just works how it's supposed to work. It's very intuitive. The controls are extremely easy to get used to and the app is really good. The features it shows and all the information it outlines are right there in front of you. So you have everything you need in order to really command this drone and do what you need to do. In terms of quality, the build itself feels very sturdy. It's a very pretty unit to look at. Um, <clears throat> with the brushless motors and um, all the intelligent features, um, it, its power, it does a really good job. It also has a nice gimbal. It's a three axis um, gimbal and a 4K camera. So because of that, you get some really nice footage. I, I was very impressed and I really enjoy the footage. You can also turn on audio, um, but I did find that um, that was a bit hit or miss in terms of how useful that was. Um, sometimes I would get too much sound from the drone. Uh, other times um, it, it was more effective, but we can also take a look at that.
In terms of intelligent features, this drone has a lot. So not only does it have your standard um, return to home feature, your standard GPS based landing feature, uh, which is really cool and very precise. Um, so essentially when the battery hits a certain level, um, the drone will automatically return home and will by GPS land itself exactly where it last took off, which is really cool. It's also got a follow me feature. It's also got uh, lens angle features. You can add filters to the footage, uh, various things like cartoon look, sketch look, black and white uh, filter, etc. Um, all that's very cool. Uh, it's also got a fly around feature, which I really like. It's also got additional features, um, but I won't get into all of them right now. Now, one thing the drone doesn't seem to have is some kind of a crash avoidance detection system. Um, so if I'm flying straight at a tree, uh, there's nothing going to stop it from hitting that tree um, other than myself and the controls. Uh, so, you know, it would be nice if it had some kind of a feature that allowed for a obstacle detection, um, <clears throat> but it doesn't seem to have that. Um, so that's one thing that I would like to see for sure. Um, other than that, uh, the drone was awesome. In terms of wind resistance, this drone is really robust. Um, I had it flying out over Lake Huron, uh, one of the Great Lakes, and it's very rare to find the wind over that lake to be anything less than 18 to 21 miles per hour. On this particular day, I was flying it over the Great Lake and it was about 24 miles per hour. And the drone responded perfectly. I had no problems whatsoever, which was really nice. In terms of durability, well, this drone is durable. Um, I crashed it at least six times um, and uh, it, it stood up well. I mean, I did have to replace one of the propellers because I did, I did chop a little bit um, too much into um, a bench that I was trying to land on, but um, it, it took some bangs and it's still flying perfectly and still passing my visual inspections and whatnot prior to flight. Uh, so that's a really good thing to know. This thing can take a bang and is not gonna just break on you. Oh no! Did you find it? 
Now this is a really cool little product. It's well built. It works how it should work. And I've thoroughly enjoyed playing with this drone. Now, it does weigh over 250 grams. So here in Canada, it does have to be registered and you have to pass a test for pilot's license with Transport Canada. Thanks so much for watching. Please, if you haven't already, like, and if you want to watch some more of these videos, subscribe. We got lots more content coming your way.